So how's it going guys? Today we are going to install one of Julio's mods. Um, I think this mod's pretty cool, so we're, let's go ahead and take a look at what he has. I'm um, doing this pretty much right off the back. Uh, nothing was set up, so... So uh, this this is the guy I was talking about. Uh, this guy, man, this guy this guy's good at what he does. Um, I really like his mods. So what I'm gonna do? I am going to download. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna download one that I already downloaded before, but since I wiped my whole entire. Th um, GTA folders clean. I really did like Venom. Venom was pretty cool. So I'm gonna download Venom right here, and uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. So the way this works, pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save that on the desktop. Save it on the desktop, and then I am gonna open from here. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into the README text and it says to install this extract all files to GTA script hook folder. Done. That's it. That's it. And it says right here you need the dismemberment ASI script in order to use the eat head feature properly. So uh, this right here, well, we'll go ahead and we'll download this too and he gives you a link to it which is pretty cool. Uh, Honestly, this guy does a really good job. He puts all the information that you need, so that way, uh, what you see on his YouTube uh, channels is, is exactly what he puts here for you to be able to uh, utilize Venom just the way he does. So it says right here, we're gonna go ahead and copy all these, but the README file. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Grand Theft Auto. Uh, go to my scripts folder and I got nothing else uh, nothing other than that and we are gonna drag and drop bam so there's all those files right there all right so we're gonna go ahead and follow the dismemberment so I went ahead and copied so I could paste on this little address bar and press enter and it should lead me straight to the mod itself <laughs> alright so uh, that's what it's gonna look like so we're gonna download and like I said I like to save it to my desktop oh I forgot to adjust the name on it that's fine open Allow. All right, so right here. So you see how this thing this thing doesn't have like a README file. So what I like to do, I like to go back to the mod I actually downloaded it from, and it should show you. Okay, so installation. So this right here will tell you that. So what I like to do too is copy that, go back into here. Uh, create new folder uh, and I like to name it as readme which you should have done but it's cool and open that up and uh, create new folder oh, no no not folder my, my bad uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that Sure you want yes delete that one let's go back okay so that one already has it right click uh, view as uh, okay so this is what I'm gonna do then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my notepad and paste okay 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna s oh, hold on. file, save as, put it on desktop. This is just a little extra step. You, you all guys don't really have to do this. Uh, and I am going to put it on, where is it? I just put it on desktop. Oh yeah, I need to give it a file. Read me. Save. And that's just saved to desktop already. And what we'll do is grab that. Where was that readme file? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, so I gotta create another one. Since I deleted it. Create new folder. Read me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Drag that in there, bam. And now you have your readme file. So next time you need to uh, download it, there it is. So anyways, we're gonna go back. Um, so right here you see, oh, this is the Venom. Oh man, this is the Venom one, uh, wrong one. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go ahead and delete files, yes. And we are going to close this one out since we're done with this one. All right, uh, here you go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, is this the same one? Hey, man. Oh, this is my scripts folder. Okay, so we'll close that one out. <laughs> I'm everywhere right now. Uh, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little brain fried right now. I was trying to help some guy with his, um, with his uh, GTA. For some reason, none of it was working. Um, he had a couple files that were working, but not all of them. Uh, where is that file? There it is. And uh, well, what happened was that um, um, his scripts folder wouldn't work. So I tried everything and everything I could possibly think of, and uh, his script folder just didn't work. So, all right. So since you know we're here, we might as well read from here. Yeah. Okay, so it says right here, place dismemberment.dll and dismemberment uh, weapons.cfg into your scripts folder. Yeah. So we're going to put uh, .dll and dismemberment folder. Bam. And we're going to put that in our scripts folder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have created another Grand Theft Auto 5 folder by accident. Okay, let's do this. Uh -uh. There it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to go into the scripts folder. And we are going to drop these two in there. Bam. Okay, so, so that's done with that. So it says right here, uh, into your scripts folder and place this memory in ASI, uh, ASI.ASI into your root folder. Uh, DLCRPF goes inside the mod. Okay, so we're going to put the dismemberment ASI into the root folder. Where is the ASI? There it is. And we're going to put that into the root folder. So we're going to go back into Grand Theft Auto, and that's your root folder right there. Let me go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. Okay, so, or better yet, let me do this. I just feel much more comfortable doing it this way. So we'll stretch the sucker out a bit, and then we grab the ASI, drop, bam. So that's done with that. And it says right here, um, let's see, DLC.RPF goes inside mods, updates, time 64, DLC pack, dismemberment. Okay, so this right here is pretty much going to be in the open IV, I believe. Yeah, because we, no, 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 no. No, that's, that's correct. So this right here, because you're going to have to place this one into, and I'll show you exactly what he's talking about. You know, it's up to update, DLC packs, and you're going to add it right here so that way it registers into the open IV so you can get into the files deeper. And that is, uh, which one was he saying? Um, DLC.RPF, DLC.RPF, where is that one? Oh, there it is. So this will go in there. So right here, since he didn't create, in reality, when you put something in the DLC packs, it's you're supposed to have a folder right here. So he didn't even write it. How 
dare hit. All right, so uh, dismemberment. So there you go, dismemberment. Where is it? Okay, there it is. So what I like to do is just copy, create, new, folder, paste, and you got your folder. So now what you want to do, you want to open that folder, grab the DLC, and drop. So that should register now. So after that, let's go back to this thing over here. Oops, I accidentally hit my mic, guys. Okay, um, so it says, don't forget to add the entry to the DLC.xml, so and so and so. So for some reason, he doesn't have it here. So I know for a fact, last time I had to go hunt it down, and I had to hunt it down right here. So in reality, what we're gonna do, let me just copy this really quick. In reality, what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this one. And we are going to paste it in this one. So that way we have our installations with us at all times. So this one's a lot better. Paste. Bam. Look at that. That looks so much better. All right. So I copied. Okay. So we did the first one. We did number two. We did number three. Now we're going to uh, do number four. We're going to go ahead and add a line, uh, a line down below the end of the DLC, DLC dot XML, so and so and so. So it even gives you a path right here. It gives you DLC, dismemberment. No way, say Oh, my bad. That's actually that's actually what you're supposed to put in the in, in the DLC. But it does give you a path. There it is. This is your path right here. So that's what we're going to follow. And this will be done in the Open IV. So I can close this out. Go into my Open IV. Sorry, guys. Look, you're going to hear me vaping, smoking, whatever you always want to call it. I don't condone it on anyone. I believe air should be the only thing in your lungs, but, you know, I got a pretty bad addiction, so. So we're going to go ahead and go into, oh, get out of here, get out of here. So we're going to press edit, yes, and we're going to go into mods, update. I believe it was update uh, common data. There you go. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go into the DLC list.xml. So what you're going to do, you're going to right click, go up to edit, and then you're going to scroll down, put it at the last one, press enter, right click, and paste. Oh, wrong one. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I, I copied that. Damn it. All right, so easy fix, easy fix, guys, easy fix. Bam. And just go back to, there you go. You see, back to normal, no problem. So, like I said, what you want to do, no say changes before I was messed up on this. So what you want to do, you want to copy this right here, this right here. So go ahead and copy, minimize that, and let's do this again, guys. So you're gonna edit, Hit it and go down to the last one. Like I said again, put the cursor towards the end of the last uh, line that, that was placed in. Enter, right click, and paste. So there you go. So one thing I want you all guys to understand is um, er, anytime you deal with uh, something like this with an open IV text editor where you have to add a line, an item, let's just call it an item, uh, for some reason they always put the backslash wrong if, if you look at this one and you look at this one so you always want to remember to backspace bam backspace bada bing bada boom so make sure all these are matching the same way because if you leave it the way it originally was it's not going to work and then you're going to be there like well, what, what's going on this and that that and this and you're going to contact me and you know that's why i'm here and i'm going to help you out and uh so anyways uh, you're gonna want to exit out click yes that's done with so let's go ahead and make sure that we're not missing anything so let's read the rest you will need the latest version of script hook and script hook v.net um, so yeah that's it we're done with that so we can exit out of that save uh, the file contains characters and uncle okay I don't care you know what just Forget about it. Don't, don't worry about saving it. 
making my life difficult. All right, so let me see. All right, so yeah, that should be it right there. So we went ahead and we installed Venom and Dismemberment. So what I really like to do sometimes, guys, it gets to me. I like to delete this portion right here. It was just like random numbers. And that should uh, get me started. Uh, we're back in the game right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to load up uh, Venom. Let's do some Venom right here. So we're going to go to add on pads. We're going to go to Venom, load, see what happens. Bam, beast. Uh, now to activate his superpowers, uh, we're going to go ahead and press Control N. And that should populate that. We're going to go down to Venom. And we're going we're gonna to do suits. And we're going to use as default to one. There you go. There you go. Ah, Venom. Oh, yeah. Venom's pretty beast. since I used them so might have to try to figure out okay yeah there you go so that so when you press right on the right directional button it, uh, it's gonna give you three options so far it's gonna give you the ground spikes attack the shoot spikes and the eat head let's go ahead now I gotta figure out which buttons are which let's see uh, there we go. And that shows you his abilities of eating people's heads. Now, uh, you can completely eat them, or you can, you know, tender the meat a bit. He likes tender meat. So, we're going to just go ahead and just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty legit. Oh, something happened there. There you go. Oh, you're next. Wait. <laughs> oh, look. This guy's getting pretty brave. Uh-oh. Uh So it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I think I think this guy does a great job. Like I said. I just pulled the pilot out of the out of the helicopter. <laughs> right. I got I got to figure out the rest of these things. Honestly, I think the best one that I've downloaded is uh, Goku. I, I, th I think that was the best one. You just have so many different types of abilities. Alright, 
Yeah, so if y'all guys are lucky to like download this, uh, I mean, it, it costs three three dollars, but you get everything. You get everything you possibly think of, or whatever he has out right now. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's pretty legit. I mean, come on, where else are you gonna eat heads and beat people with like dead bodies, decapitated bodies? Look at that. That's uh, pretty much it right there. Um, if y'all guys are looking to, you know, mod some games and stuff like that. Like I said, it's three dollars. I mean, it ain't too bad. He does have uh, different types of tiers. He has like, a, I believe it's like a silver and gold. Uh, the gold tier is like ten bucks a month. That's pretty much you're, you're helping him. Uh, you know, pretty because Duke uh, quit quit his job to do this. And, I mean, he makes good money. I mean, who would have quit their jobs to to uh, just you know build some characters but yeah um three dollars you can't go bad and get everything that he has out uh if you do decide to go like ten dollars a month uh you get to be a patron and you get all his work that's still under development so uh and, and, and it's, it's pretty legit too i mean it's, it's not too bad i mean you get in there and uh he'll build the character and say for example like the only move you you, you might have is you know those three uh, he's building another one. It's called uh, uh, it's it's about Thanos. That that guy has so many things. It's crazy. Uh, next time, but for right now, uh, just showing you what Venom, uh, what Venom's powers are, and how cool it is. I mean, come on, can't tell you that that ain't cool right there. Look at that. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Take this guy up to the roof and just munch on him. I'm just gonna munch on him. Up here like beef jerky. Hungry. Yum, yum, yum. And if the volume doesn't come out, uh, he has a couple of phrases that he says. He's like, yum, 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 I am Venom. And, and a couple of phrases from the movie. But yeah. Uh, if y'all guys do decide to download this, let me know, and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll help you um, install it if y'all guys are having trouble, um, and I'll show you how to do it too, so it ain't too bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, guys, uh, and until next time, enjoy.